Hi everybody. Today we're going to talk about biology lab safety rules. It's something really important that you need to know before we ever go back onto the other side of my classroom or into Miss Wheeler's room uh, to complete any kind of lab activity because if you do things wrong, you could hurt yourself or others, which is never a good thing. Now, the most important rule that you need to know is this one right here. Use your own common sense. Most of the labs that we do, if you just think about it for a moment or if you read through your material beforehand, you're going to know what to do. Now, I've got just some basic rules that we're going to go through very quickly so that you'll know what to expect. So first off, be prepared. It is also one of my four B's, so it should be an uh, expectation that you are used to. If there is uh, information to read or to watch before the lab begins, you need to do so. You uh, need to come in ready, already having that done, because if you do not, you will start behind. Also, make sure you understand the purpose behind what we're doing and the procedures we're going to do. If we're doing a procedure that you're not sure how it works, then you need to ask uh, so that when you get into the lab, you'll be able to follow the directions that you have. Now, second, be neat. This kind of goes without saying. When you go back onto my lab, everything will be in a certain spot. You need to keep it organized so that you're easily able to find the materials that you need when you need them so that your lab will go smoothly. Also, very important to clean up your work area when you're done because the next class is going to have to do the same lab. And wash your hands before you leave the room. Clean up everything you need and then wash your hands so that whatever we were working on in the lab you do not take to your next class. Now, during the lab, be careful. Be careful. Some of these things could be slightly dangerous. Not extremely dangerous. We're not going to be detonating bombs or anything, but you do need to use some caution. Now, along with that is to wear proper clothing. There are some chemicals that can damage your clothes. That's actually the most dangerous thing we usually have, something staining your clothes. So uh, don't wear anything that if you happen to accidentally ruin it is going to ruin your entire week. Uh, also, no sandals or open-toed shoes. I didn't spell sandals correctly, but you guys know what I mean. Sandals. This time of year, it's a bad thing. At the end of the year when we dissect, it's very tempting. But there are no exceptions to this rule. If you do not wear proper shoes, you cannot go back into my lab because you could break something and step on it. And then, where are you at? Now, along with these basic rules, we also have a couple others. Now, be cautious. Cautious. Uh, with chemicals. Assume any chemical that you work with could be dangerous. If you handle it in that uh, manner, then you are not going to do something that's going to hurt yourself. Also, if you don't know how to handle it, ask me. I will be more than happy to tell you how to handle it. Now, if a chemical touches your skin, uh, we work with some weak acids, things like that. Nothing major, but they can irritate your skin. Uh, rinse with water and then tell me. That way, if it is something that is a little more dangerous, I can act accordingly. We can get the nurse or whatever. But in most cases, rinsing with water is going to work. And then just tell me so I know it happened. So if you break out in a rash later, we know why. Uh, wear your safety goggles. They're not stylish, but it's better dorky looking than blind. I uh, have them in a cabinet that is on the way to the lab. There's no problem to get them. Wear them. If you do not wear them, I will warn you. I will take off points and then I will not let you do lab because they are absolutely necessary. Now, Along with safety goggles, there are several other pieces of safety equipment. The first couple labs we do, I'll be sure to point them out. But make sure you and your whole group know where the locations are of fire extinguishers, the fire blanket, the first aid kit, uh, our broken glass and chemical waste receptacles. They'll be in different places for different labs, so be sure to ask if you're not sure. Uh, also, we have a safety shower and we have an eye wash, which I will show you where they're located. Make sure everyone in your group knows where they're at because more than likely, if you need the safety shower or the eye wash, you're not going to be able to see it. Your partner needs to take you there. So make sure they know where it's at. Uh, also, exits and emergency exit routes, they're pretty easy in my room. Uh, just make sure that you're aware where they're at and what the procedure is if we had uh, something where we'd have to leave the room. I don't think that will happen, but just in case, you need to know. All right. Our last thing are the lab dumps. Now, a lot of these are common sense, so if you follow that most important rule, then most of these will not even be an issue. But we're going to go over them just in case. So, do not eat or drink in lab. This includes eating or drinking anything that's part of the lab. So when we do labs that involve food, don't eat the food. Don't eat the food. 
Um, now, don't handle broken glass with your bare hands if you could all help it. Let me know. I'll handle it that way. If somebody gets cut, it's going to be me. You don't have to go to the nurse because you sliced your hand open. Just use some caution. Uh, also, don't do anything in the lab other than the day's lab activity. That includes operating lab equipment or touching lab apparatus that is not part of our experiment. Other people use my labs. Sometimes other labs are sitting around the edges. Don't touch them. You might ruin them. Um, don't mix chemicals. Even if they look like water, they might not be water. They probably won't react like water. Do not mix them. It can cause a big hazard. Uh, also, do not perform your own experiments. Now, this is without permission. The reason I'm making a point is um, some of our labs, if we get done a little early or your group is wanting to do a little something extra to test something, if it's related to the experiment, if you ask permission, I may very well let you do it if I think it's a good idea or you have good reasoning for it. So you can ask, but don't ask something that is not related to the lab we're doing that day. Okay? All right. Now, this one. I am in full, I have full confidence that I will not have to worry about this one, but I have to go over it. Do not engage in childish antics. That means horseplay, i.e. goofing off or shoving or basically doing something that is not something that you would do in a lab. Now, you'll lose lab points if you do this. I'm not going to give you a warning about this. This is your warning. Uh, if you do this more than once, you could lose the right to do a lab, which means you get a zero for that lab, and it also means that you will not get to do lab until I know that you are not going to act this way again. It could be extra assignments I make you do, or I might have to talk to your parents, or something like that to assure that you will be safe in my lab and that you will make sure that others are safe in the lab. That's the way it works. So, if you follow these rules, we should have a very smooth lab this year and get to do lots of activities.